Hey everyone, this screencast will demonstrate how to compile and install two of Ethereum's language compilers at a Linux command line. I won't be covering macOS or Windows right now, but I may do a follow-up on these platforms if there's enough interest. As you can see, I'm running Ubuntu Server 16.04.2 LTS in a VirtualBox VM. We're at a point immediately following the OS install. The first thing we need to do is update the system. You do this by executing apt update and apt upgrade. This process takes quite a while, so I've shortened it here in order to concentrate on just the stuff that matters. I'll do the same for other lengthy processes in this screencast. Once the system has been upgraded, we need to install some software packages that are necessary to compile the Solidity source code. These are Build Essential, CMake, and LibBoost All Dev. Build Essential on Ubuntu contains almost everything you need to develop software on Linux. CMake and LibBoost aren't included in Build Essentials, but they're necessary to compile the Solidity source code. In order to compile Solidity, we need to acquire its source code. This is done with Git. Here's the command to retrieve the latest source code from GitHub. We need to specify the recursive option because Solidity uses Git submodules. Recursive retrieves any submodules included in a repository. This process created a Solidity directory. Let's move into that directory. In order to build the compiler binaries, we'll need a build directory. Now we need to run CMake, which will produce the configuration files necessary to build the source. We can now run Make, which will compile the source and produce binaries for both the Solidity and LLL compilers. If you look in the SolC directory, you'll see the Solidity compiler binary, SolC. And if you look in the LLLC directory, you'll see the LLL compiler binary, LLLC. Now that we have the compiler binaries, we need to install them. This is done by typing make install. Let's get back to our home directory. There's one last thing we need to do. By default, Ubuntu doesn't include user local lib in its LD library path. That's the path needed to locate libraries used by the compilers. You can do this at the command line. I would suggest adding that line to your bashrc file or whatever configuration file your shell uses. Okay, both compilers are now available at your command line. Let's invoke the Solidity compiler. This produces a language banner and a version string. Let's do the same thing for LLL. You'll notice that both compilers have exactly the same version. That's because the LLL compiler is contained in the Solidity repo. At some point, I hope to extract LLL into its own repository with a separate release schedule. I hope this proves useful. It's not actually a complex process, but it's a lot easier when you have a guide like this. Until next time, this is Daniel Ellison.